Kanye has a new song. This is his first song ever since the uh, eccentric, shall we say, uh, display that he made. Like, what was it, about a year ago on the Alex Jones show and with the face mask and the the Yahoo, the net and Yahoo and where he was going after the Jews and all that. You remember that thing? So anyway, he's got a new song out. Here is the song. And no, I didn't put that drop in there. That drop is in the record already. It's not Beethoven's nine, you know, but Okay, you know, I think this will be more actually productive if I just read the lyrics. This is not, I don't, look, I'm not really even knocking, I am knocking the music, I guess, but it's, it's not for me. This is not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of hip hop or rap or most music made in the last 70 or 80 years. Uh, I've liked some of Kanye's music in the past. I like that song that he wrote with Paul McCartney, Only One. I thought that was pretty good. I've often thought Kanye is a pretty good, uh, has a pretty good ear. So he hears good songs that he then samples and raps over. And I don't love the rapping, but I like, you know, like Jesus Walks is a great example. That's like, Jesus Walk, you know, and then that's a good song. And then he raps over it and makes it popular. So, okay. Uh, this song is with um, Ty Dolla Sign and Lil Dirk, whoever they are. And here are the lyrics. Three gang leaders with me all times. I don't know who I effed last night. I got Alzheimer's. I don't know who them hoes is, man. They all lie and Brody. Tell me who them hoes is, man. They all fine. Running hooligan. And we with the foolishness. How, I, how I'm anti-Semitic. I just effed a Jewish B-I-T-C-H. I just effed Scooter Braun, the, the big celebrity manager. Uh, B-I-T-C-H. And we ran up like Olympics. Got pregnant in the threesome. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? My ninjas, he doesn't say ninjas, but it's a word that I'm not allowed to say because I'm a white fellow, uh, put in belt to AWS, pull up with the switches. This ain't Jimmy Butler, but the heat got extensions. This ain't Columbine, but we came in with the trenches, I assume trench coat. She asking me to aim for, this is a, this is a little tawdry, this lyric, more so even than the others. She asking me to aim for her neck because her boyfriend bought that necklace with the trenches, precious, with the trenches, F it, I scratched another ninja woman up off my checklist. Okay, why do I read any of this? Right now, text Knowles to 989898. We are facing the threat of a potential government shutdown, and the administration will ultimately deal with it the same way they always do, with more spending. More spending will inevitably devalue the dollar. Protect your savings by diversifying into gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. When you open an IRA with Birch Gold, for every $10,000 you spend by December 22nd, Birch Gold will send you a free gold bar. Just text Knowles, Canada, WLAS, to 989898 to claim eligibility before Black Friday. Birch Gold can even help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold without taking any money out of pocket. Are you still listening? Because you get a free gold bar. It's a big deal. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied customers, you can count on Birch Gold to help you transition an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold. Don't let your savings fall victim to the further devaluation of the dollar. Text Knowles, Canada WLAS, to 989898. Receive a free info kit on gold and claim your eligibility before Black Friday to receive free gold bars on your qualifying purchase. That is Knowles, Canada WLAS, to 989898. Right now, go to preborn.com slash Knowles. We talk about preborn a lot on this show. It's because we believe in their mission and we know that you do too. Who would not want to help mothers and their children in crisis? Preborn is an organization dedicated to saving the lives of the unborn. Every day, Preborn's network of clinics rescues 200 babies as they compete head-to-head with the abortion giants. They offer free ultrasounds to mothers considering abortion, and once she sees her baby and hears its heartbeat, she is twice as likely to choose life. It, It basically doubles the baby's chance at surviving. And right now, through a matching program, your tax deductible gift is itself doubled. 100% of your gift will go toward providing free ultrasounds to mothers in crisis, as well as supporting mothers and their babies with diapers, car seats, counseling, and more. Now's the time of the year. Everyone's writing their checks. It's time to get the write-offs. I usually wait until New Year's Eve. Don't be like me. Do it now. Double down today by dialing pound 250. Say the keyword baby. That is pound 250 or go to preborn.com slash Knowles, preborn.com slash K-N-O-W-L-E-S. 
This is a song about revenge. Kanye is singing. There's, there are other verses with other rappers in it, but this is his verse. And he's singing about revenge. I don't know who I effed. I got Alzheimer's. You can't say that I don't like Jews. I just effed one of those Jews. And I just effed this other guy's girlfriend. And I just, I, I disrespected him and a gift that he had given her. Yeah, I'm just, it's not even about her. It's about him. And I'm just getting back at him. And I'm getting back at Scooter Braun. And I'm getting back at the Jews. And I'm getting back at this guy. And I'm getting back at that guy. And I'm just effing everybody. And I'm hitting people. And I'm, I'm like, I'm like the shooters at Tom Columbine. I'm dressing up in trench coats like them. It's all about revenge. And it's about revenge, presumably because Kanye got canceled and he lost a ton of money and Adidas canceled him and he'll, he'll probably bounce back to some degree because the guy just seems to be made of Teflon even after his uh, rather elaborate uh, breakdown last year. But it's the revenge to me that's the key because he made another album not that long ago called Jesus is King that was actually somewhat beautiful by the standards of modern pop music. I think there was a song on there, Water, we are water like a newborn daughter. And um, a, fr a friend of mine actually wrote part of the bridge to that song. Actually, ironically, my a Jewish friend of mine wrote part of the bridge to that song. But the whole album was just about how Jesus is king and we should all be Christian and worship God and be good. And uh, uh, rumored uh, during the making of that album was Kanye's demand that nobody engage in fornication. And he was trying to save his marriage. And a lot of people go crazy after a divorce and but he he really seemed to be aiming at virtue and then here in this new song is first we've heard from him in in over a year or about a year at least it's all just about getting back at people and doing nasty things and fornicating and hitting people and you know and vengeance is mine saith the lord and i will repay and, and so it, it, I, I i feel for the guy in that it's very easy to to fall into vice and to to enjoy the notion of revenge against people you think have wronged you, but it's not the right way. If you compare this song to the Jesus is King album, Jesus is King album is much better. And Kanye was probably in a much better place when he was doing that album. What a great clip that was. Now, hey, whoa, 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 ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. See you next time.